All right, welcome to the Robert Show. It's day two at Snowflake Summit, and I'm super excited to chat with Ed, who's the CTO and co-founder at Medellin. Uh, Ed, welcome to the Robert Show. Right, thank you very much for having me on. Uh, it is such a great show that you all have put at Snowflake. Uh, two booths, one near the keynote, one year. Uh, and I'm kind of excited to learn a little about what's happening at Medellin. Snowflake, announcements, and much more. Just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce or tell us more about what's happening? Absolutely, right. Um, so yeah, I'm Ed Thompson. I'm the CTO co-founder here at Matillion. Uh, yeah, we've gone, we've gone fun. We've gone yeah. fun this year at uh, at Snowflake Summit. So we're we're trying to have the most fun booth, and I think we've uh, I think we've achieved that. I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun a fun few days. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so the biggest thing that we're announcing here uh, at Snowflake Summit is uh, our integrations with Cortex, uh, which nice. is Snowflake's uh, AI models. Um, and we're trying to, Matilda's been always been about democratizing data and, and democratizing the data integration tools that we built. True. Um, making data integration really easy, low code or hopefully no code, visual uh, data pipelines. And we've been working for the last six months with Snowflake really closely as they've been developing out Cortex to make sure we can bring that same experience to their Cortex models. So we're announcing today that we're going GA with our Cortex integration. Love it. Yeah. That makes you that makes all of the capabilities that they've been just talking. I mean, just been in the keynote. It's been fantastic. Just walked out. Everyone's talking about Cortex. We make those Cortex models available without code. Uh, in data pipelines. So you can take your data to the AI models. Super simple, super simple. You should see it. Awesome. This is great. Congrats on uh, all the th things that's coming together in the last six months. Y'all have worked uh, you know, so hard for it. And uh, we can see it all coming together. So congrats. Uh, also quickly wanted to learn a little about uh, AI. So we are seeing AI move above and beyond you know, hype and into delivering value. What are your thoughts around that? Yeah, I mean, we are moving beyond like race to the bottom on models, chatbots. Those things are really interesting and they've forged a path. But now what do enterprises want to do? What do big companies want to do? Mm. They want to take their data to the AI models in a controlled, governed, and formal way. Totally. And that's what Matillion's all about. Our data productivity cloud has all of the kind of plumbing and all of the kind of um, platform that you need to run proper AI-powered data pipelines. Mm. But it's all about the fundamental thing is taking the data, the, particularly the unstructured data, the documents, the images, the multimodal stuff, mm. take that straight to the model. Um, and do all that in a controlled data pipeline. And that's what, uh, that's what I'm super excited about. That's AI coming of age for yes. me. Yes. Uh, it's actually happening and we're driving uh, the ability to take data that really was kind of useless, just sitting around before, turn it into something that we can actually work with in a structured way. Yes, I love it, and thanks for sharing those insights. Also quickly wanted to learn a little about uh, the, the value of AI to the business. What are your thoughts around that? Yeah, so I think it's kind of early days businesses really haven't realized the value of that data that they have. Mm, true. Particularly, you know, any business has tons and tons of unstructured data, both sitting around historically to be mined, but also arriving constantly. Right. Um, and, you know, think of all of the inbound interactions, all of the phone calls that take place, all of the support calls that take place, all of that data has massive amounts of knowledge in it that can be leveraged, and it's the AI models that make that practical and affordable and sensible to do. Uh, and Cortex in particular does a fantastic job of turning unstructured into structured data. So, you know, AI coming of age for me is, is about the ability to build those pipelines, to keep the human in the loop where necessary, yeah. but to build pipelines which use those AI models with all of that data in mm -hmm. context. Mm -hmm. Any use case that comes to your mind in recent that you've come across? I mean, so the one that's probably I've been most excited about, and really it's just a starter because everyone has a kind of a spin on this in their 100%. organization, yeah. is uh, support cases. So, um, you know, we've seen great success at Matillion with companies taking really complex support questions mm. and generating AI-generated answers 
that are specific to that organization using that organization's internal knowledge and data. Right. And then being able to go immediately back to customers with almost no human interaction. We always keep the human interaction in there, right? Because yes. I think that's really important for trust of AI models. Love it, yeah. But, but, but we can make the, that user so much more productive by augmenting them with AI. Augmenting business processes with AI is going to change the world. And Matillion can do that without writing code. I love it. And how I, you mentioned about the human interaction kind of plays a very important role at the same time to keep the trust. And you're right about that. Uh, also, wanting to understand from your point of view and all the excitement, what are you most excited about when it comes to AI? So I'm excited about taking the data to AI, but I'm probably most excited about AI enabling all business processes. Right. I don't think there's a single business process that involves a human being that can't be augmented, accelerated, mm -hmm. and made more productive with AI. Um, and the tools are really young. They're really young, the tools that allow you to do that. And they're going to get better, and they're going to mature. Um, and being part of that, that's really exciting. Love it. Uh, thanks for sharing all the great insights. I can't wait for uh, the great partnership uh, to be you know, with Snowflake and I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, anything else that you have for our audience in terms of, first of all, if they want to reach out to you, where can they do that? Is LinkedIn a good place? Uh, and all the, I know, uh, you know you guys create a lot of content on the website too. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, absolutely, look at our look at our website. Look at some of the content there. Definitely reach out to me on LinkedIn. Uh, yes. I'm always happy to talk about AI. I'm always happy to talk about data. Uh, I'm always happy to talk about interesting AI data use cases. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing that conversation. This is awesome. Thank you very much, Ed, for doing this, and such a pleasure hosting you on the Ravid Show. And All right, thank you so much. Have the uh, you know rest two of the days. Have a blast at Snowflake. That's, I will. <laughs> That's <laughs> been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Robert. Thank you very much.